This program recorded by WTTW Chicago. Shakespeare, it was a very bad year for his plays. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> well, Wendy, well, uh, yeah. what kind of a play are you going to have today? Oh, well, Princess Mary, you heard of that great play, South Pacific? Oh, yes. Oh, that's a wonderful musical. Oh, it's the yeah. most beautiful thing. Yeah, well, I've written a new one, a new musical called North Antarctic. North Antarctic? You're overwhelmed. Good, I'll go and get the cast together, and we've got the the, uh, the Gnome musician band, and we've got go. Oh, we got a uh, all the. I've already sold tickets to the elves in the forest, Princess Mary, and, and everybody is coming to see the play. Well, and Wendy, before you uh, put yeah. on this play, I think I'd better see uh, a bit of your rehearsal. So we do oh. that for me later. You want to see the rehearsal? Yes. Yeah. So that nobody is taken. Is that it? Is that right? Oh. And say before you uh, go into all this work, I think uh, maybe you're gonna need a little energy this morning. Oh, I, I think do. So. I do, Princess Mary. I, I, I and there it is. I can smell that wonderful chocolate. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Come on down here. <coughs> Careful. No, no. It's the other way you fall. What's the matter with you I this morning? I just get carried away when I see drunk. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. All right. Well, first of all, let's tell the boys and girls how to make the most wonderful chocolate milkshake in the whole wide world. Shall we do that? Let's do that. All right. Well, first of all, we take a big jar of Bronco chocolate flavored syrup. Is that right? Right, and then we take, well, we've got your brown coal mug right here, haven't we? Yes, right, boy. It makes it even more fun to drink with that yeah. wonderful brown mug. And that brown coal mug is all filled with milk. That's right. Then we take a big spoonful of brown coal chocolate syrup, right? Is that yummy and we for put the it right in there. And we stir it up. And you know what we always tell the boys and girls? That brown coal chocolate flavored syrup adds magic to milk. You know why? Why is that, Wendy? Well, that's because it has BCM, which gives you vitamins and energy and makes you feel real strong. That's right. And of course, like you always say, Franco is so yummy for the tummy because all Franco chocolate flavor syrup is the best tasting chocolate syrup in the whole wide world. And of course, not only is Bronco good in milk, but it's also good on ice cream. It makes the most wonderful chocolate sundae, doesn't it? That's right. That's right. Well, just, well, everything is so good with Bronco chocolate flavored syrup. It is just the best, Princess Mary. That's right. And say, you know, maybe if the boys and girls would like a Bronco boot mug just like yours, if they have a paper and pencil handy, just a little bit later on, we'll tell you how you can get yours, too. Oh, and talking about getting things, uh, why don't you tell the boys and girls where they can buy Bronco? Oh, that's right, Princess Mary. Well, boys and girls, I want you to know that you can buy a Bronco, the most wonderful drink in all the world, at National and A&P Food Stores. That's right, Wendy. Well, say, you'd better run along now. I've got a lot of things to do. Oh, all right, Princess Mary, I'll get my play already. Oh, it's play time. Well, you know who that is, don't you, boys and girls? That's Sir Day and Sir Knight. And I hope you were real good yesterday, because if you were, we'll get a real good report. But let's find out. Come on. All set? Here we go. 
day and night, night and day, sir, nights of truth, this time to say. Have the boys and girls done well? Of their actions, you must tell. Ah, good morning, Princess Mary. Good morning, Sir Dane. Good morning, Sir Knight. <coughs> good morning, Princess Mary. Well, I hope it stays a good morning. It's been a good morning so far, but who's going to make the report today? Ah, Princess Mary, sir. I'm very happy to say that it is a good report. Good. The boys and girls minded their mummies and daddies. <coughs> but I must caution the boys and girls that I have noticed not too many, but a few who did not go to bed on time, uh -oh. did not eat all the food put before them, especially vegetables, which are very nourishing and important to them, so uh, <coughs> they must mind up P's and Q's. Ah, uh, that, that is correct. But all in all, they did a good job, and I feel that uh, I can still give the report today. Uh, well, I'm all, glad... Princess Mary. I'm glad to hear that, Sir Day. And like Sir Knight said, boys and girls, you've got to do all the things you're supposed to so we can get a perfect report. But you try real hard tomorrow, and maybe we'll just hear from Sir Day. Let's hope so. Well, goodbye, Sir Day. Ah, goodbye, Princess Mary. And goodbye, Sir Knight. <coughs> goodbye, Princess Mary. Oh, my God. I wonder who I don't know is today. Let's find out. Uh, who's there? Knock, knock, who's there? Uh, Elvis. Well, this will be a good one. Elvis, Elvis who? <coughs> uh, the elves is coming to Wormy's play. <laughs> it's a no, 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 no. The elves are coming to Wendy's play. That's true, but I've never heard anybody called Elvar. You see, Elvis, Oh, never mind, never that, mind. You know. I don't know. What, what's this play going to be all about? He said something about the North Antarctic or something like that. Yes, well, yes. The play, the play deals with... Um, it's all about the... Um, it's the... It concerns the... Um, uh, wiki wacky tic tac too. I can't tell because I don't know. Oh, for goodness sakes, I don't know. You, ch you I don't know how anybody can get so mixed up all <laughs> the time, do you? Well, it's sort of an East Lynn set the music. <laughs> That's the best way you can put it, but I, I learn fast. I, I don't are, know. Are you going to be part of the play? Oh, well, yeah, I'm, um, I'm, uh, I don't know. No, I think so. Oh, yes, I'm sure I have a big part. I think I'm the leg of a table or something, a very, very oh, big part. Oh, very. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that you'll be a good supporting actor then. <laughs> that's a note of humor. That's very good, Princess Mary. I You're tell you what, I got so much to do today. <laughs> I'm right. going to see the rehearsal uh, later. And what in the world does Sir Dono have? Excuse me, I don't know. All right. Well, I'll see you. Good morning, Your Highness. Well, good morning, Sir Dono. Where are you going with the hangers and the bag? Well, Your Highness, Wendell said that you needed uh, two coat hangers and a dry cleaning bag, Your Highness. That I needed it. Well, I, did, I didn't ask for it. You have no need for two coat hangers and a dry cleaning bag. Well, not right now. In fact, I don't even know what he's talking about. What, Maybe it's for his play or something. Most unusual, Your Highness. Well, you know, are you sure you don't need them? No, I don't need them uh, at all. I'll place them down inside the bag, Your Highness, and uh, now you're positive that you, you, you don't need the coat hangers, Your Highness. No, well, just get rid of them. Get rid of them. Now, that's a very good idea, Your Highness. Uh, now, once and for all, Your Highness, are you sure that you don't need the coat hangers? No, sir. No, I have. I don't even have time for this now. I see. Well, in that case, Your Highness, I'll get rid of the coat hangers, Your Highness, and uh, that's about the way. I don't know about that, Wendell, Your Highness. If that's if that's the way he's going to do, he runs me all over the castle and uh, has me chasing coat hangers and and paper bag and flying saucers and oh, he'll have me chasing the golden bird next, Your Highness. It's um. Sometimes I wonder about Sir Donald. Well, good morning, Golden Bird, and how are you this fine morning? And say, look at all the postcards and all the letters we have from you boys and girls. Say, by the way, would you like to come down and be part of Princess Mary's castle? Would you like to do that? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you just how we get these letters from all the boys and girls, and I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's call the wishing well and see maybe he'll tell you all about it. Think he's down there this morning? You do? Well, let's find out. Voice far below the ground, tell me of the wishes found. Mm, good morning, Princess Bear. Good morning, Wishing Well. How are you this fine, beautiful, wonderful morning? Oh, I'm very well indeed. You want to say yourself? Oh, I feel wonderful. Did you just hear what I said to the boys and girls? Uh, I did, Your Highness. Well, I tell you what, when I send all these letters down to you, why don't you tell the boys and girls just how they could come and visit us? Would you do that? Oh, it would be a pleasure, Your Highness. You boys and girls, I can visit Princess Mary's castle. Here's all you have to do. Just send a letter to me, the wishing well, telling why you would like to be one of the nobles at Princess Mary's court. Be sure to include in your letter your name, age, address, telephone number. That's right. Then mail your letter to Princess Mary's Castle, WBJB, Chicago 1, Illinois. Oh, thank you.
Thank you, Wishing Well. Well, I've got so much to do today, and I know you've got to get real busy, because tomorrow's a very special day. So I'll say goodbye now. Well, before you leave your address, I have a bit of a surprise. Oh, now let me guess. You have a letter for somebody. Or Mr. Tree. Oh, good. You know he loves to get letters. I'll well, make you in the bucket for us, and I'll push up on the bucket. No more. Oh, that's fine. That saves a lot of time. We're so busy today. Right you are. Here is a letter from Mr. Tree of Marriage. Well, goodbye, wishing well. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Mrs. Bear. Oh, well, good morning, Cousin oh. Grover. You kind of startled me. I was on the way to see Mr. Tree. Oh, oh is that right? I, um, I notice you have a, um, a letter there uh, for me. No, it's not for you. It's for Mr. Tree of Knowledge. Oh, um, oh I wonder what it says. Um, please hmm? watch it, Mr. Tree. But well, tell you what, uh, maybe if it's all right with Mr. Tree, you could come over and see what his letter says. Well, I don't particularly care to read the letter. It doesn't make any difference uh, to Not me. much. Uh, yes. What do you think about that, Mr. Tree? Oh, well, Your Highness, I, 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 I'm excited about receiving a letter, Your Highness. Good. Oh. I knew you wouldn't mind if I listened in. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Watch, watch your claws there on the, on the limb. Yes. He's so sensitive yeah, about his body. Well, let's see what it says. I wonder if it's going to be a riddle or a bit of knowledge somebody would like to know or what. Well, there's one way to find out, isn't there? Well, this says, it's on pretty blue stationery. Isn't that pretty? I love it. It says, I have a question for Tree of Knowledge. Uh-oh. It's kind of a hard question. Oh, it says, wait, 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 now, I surmise uh, that one with eyes yes. who cannot ever see. Of course you know, in ground does grow, potato it must be. Oh, you know, do you know what he's talking about, Cousin Crow? Well, of course, a potato that grows in the ground. No. A potato can't see. Uh, what haven't you? Well, you've seen a potato and it has kind of like those little seeds grow in the potato on the outside yeah. of the skin. You and they look just eyes. like eyes, but yeah, a potato right. can't see even though you say a potato has eyes. Oh, 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 I see. I see because the, the potato doesn't see. Oh, yes, very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> very, uh, oh, for goodness sakes. I don't know how you get so mixed up, Cousin Crow. Really, can't you get anything straight at all? Well, one thing I can get very straight, Princess Mary, and that is the most delicious drink in all the world. Oh. That's Bronco. I can just get it over here, Princess Mary. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tree. Well, I hope that answers you. You're welcome, Your Highness. See what uh, Cousin Crow has to say over here. Excuse oh, me. It's Bronco. The auto ain't so, oh, Bronco. Oh, no. you forgot to. Oh, you didn't no, forget, I, did you? No, there's that wonderful drinking mug. Well, you know, uh, I told the boys and girls if they had their paper and pencil handy, we'd tell them just how they can get one of these Bronco drinking mugs just like yours. And Wendy, well, we all have one here at the castle, don't we? Oh, yes, Princess Mary. Oh, I would like to tell them how they could get their Bronco well, drinking mug. Well, first of all, what they have to do is they have to get a jar of this wonderful Bronco chocolate-flavored syrup. Oh, that is correct, that is correct. Then what do they do? Well, then, then the boys and girls, you tear off the label, the Branco label, and on the back of the Branco label, you print your name and address. And you put your name and address, so of course, uh, <laughs> we can send you the Branco cowboy mug. And then you also include, enclose 25 cents for postage and handling. And then we will send this wonderful Branco cowboy boot drinking mug to you. Now, you send your label to Branco Mug, Box 298, Heavenston, Illinois. That's Branco Mug, Box 298, Heavenston, Illinois. So you did get a bit of knowledge out there, didn't you? Oh, I do, Princess Mary. I know where my bread is buttered on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're so right. And you know what else? You know, when the boys and girls get their Branco Mug, there's something right inside this Branco Mug. Well, see? There's a little coupon in here. Now, if you read this coupon very, very carefully, you will see just how you can get one of these wonderful Bronco Wonder Horses. And they are a Wonder Horse, too. Look at this. Isn't that fun? You boys and girls can be, oh, a regular buckaroo or something like that. Well, the way you get this Bronco Horse is, like I say, you get this coupon inside your Bronco mug. And if you read all the regulations on here and you follow them, why, not only will you have a wonderful Bronco moose, but... You will also have a wonderful Bronco Wonder Horse. 
Uh, how's your throat today? Oh, it's very good, Princess Lily. Y'all ready? Y'all ready. Here we go. <laughs> and say, boys and girls, this portion of Princess Mary's Castle has been brought to you by... B-R-O-N-C-O. Bronco. <laughs> See, that was really a bitter knowledge you did there. Thank, Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, Princess Mary. What, Captain Crowley? I, uh, I noticed that there was a curtain up by uh, Windle's window, and I wondered what was going on over there. Well, uh, aren't you going to be part of his play today? Was he going to have a play? Well, yes. No, he didn't invite me. And me with my glorious voice. Ooh. Well, why don't you go oh. talk to Wendy? Maybe he'll let you be part of the play, because I, I think I heard Hanky, did you? Well, I think I did hear Hanky. Well, I'm very hurt I wasn't invited to the play. Well, well I I'll see you in a minute. No, all right. Goodbye, Princess Betty. What is mm -hmm. this? I wonder where Hanky is. There seems to be a note here. It says, Dear Princess Mary. Oh, well, for goodness sakes, listen to this, boys and girls. Hanky says, I am inside the balloon and cannot get out. Would you please break the balloon and release me? Your truly servant, Hanky Panky. Well, how in the world did he get encased in that balloon to begin with? Well, it seems to be moving, doesn't it? I think he is in there. Oh, Hanky, are you there? Well, oh, you said take the pen and, and break the balloon and you can get out? Oh, but I'm afraid I might hurt you. I, I can't see you and then I might stick you. Well, all right, we'll get down to the bottom then. Okay, just take the pen here and watch out now. Get in the bottom. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Sick. Oh, well, that'll teach you a lesson, won't it? Oh, I know. You're glad to get out of there. Well, just be more careful. Oh, that's your that's not a good song, boys. No, I don't like that song at all. Oh, I think we're ready for song. the play. Come along, boys and girls. Oh, I think we're really in for it today. Oh, that wasn't the song. That was just your tuning up. Oh, I <laughs> I see there. Well, that, that makes a big difference. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Well, oh, oh, Princess Mary. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well, you, 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 you. I'm all ready. Wait, let me get your, let me get your script out so you can uh, um, sort of... Uh, uh, you know, prompt us in there and see if everything oh. is the script. This is script. The North Antarctic. Uh, script two, four, six, and one eighth. What's that? Oh. What's the eighth for? Oh, that, that, that's my hat size. It got in by mistake. Oh, <laughs> I wear an eighth, you know. Well, uh, well all right, Wendell. Let's uh, oh. all read the script and see what's going on yeah, here. Yeah, see, there, that's a big part. That's that's known as the, the that's a big thing there. See where it says Paganini? Paganini. Yeah, that right. No, 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 that's page nine. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> well I'm too nervous to print so close to the paper. Well, oh, uh, uh, clock roll, uh, stage hand, uh, clock roll, are you ready to uh, pull the curtain? Oh, God, I'm all ready. Well, uh, well, pull the curtain so we can start to play. Well, I am pulling. Well, well, well nothing, nothing is happening. It's not, uh, it's not opening. Oh, oh, well, say it if you want it to open. I'm pulling it closed. I don't know. I, I have to be told everything. Well, put it open. Put it open. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, we can put it a little more. Uh, can you put it over? Yeah, that's good. Oh, I'm proud of you, Cobgo. You're all right. <clears throat> now, now. Well, there's your igloo. Is this about the North? Well, no wonder that figure's the North Antarctic. Yes, yeah, yes, South exactly. Pacific, North Antarctic. <laughs> well, right. Yes, yes. Now, uh, mm -hmm. could we have the, the overture, uh, a little Benoni Band Local 10? <clears throat> you got to take that snow right out of my hair. You got to take that snow right out of the air. You're not getting any snow. Put that snow here. It's a cute snow. Clock roll, drop the snow down. Wait, hold it, fellas. Hold it, hold it. Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. A car, a car crow. We're not getting any snow. Could you come out here, please? Car, car, look, look. You, you just take care of your job. And us stay chance. We take care of our job. You sing. We'll drop the snow. Okay. Oh, you have to be very careful with the, with the help today. Yeah, well, yep, uh, uh, Maestro, try it trouble, again. Yeah, try it. Mm. Uh, you got to take that snow right out of the air. You got... Well, wait, we're still not getting the snow. Clock roll, where are you? Are you up? I, oh, he's up on top. Ah, Clock, now look, look, look. You, you just, you just sing, and I assure you, you'll get the snow. Don't bug the stagehands. Oh, here's a problem today. Well, I do want the snow now. Are you all ready? Well, you know the first two lines. You think that's right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Maestro, once again, please. Yeah.
you got to take that stone right out of your place. Now give me the... Uh, I, 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 oh, stop! Ah, wait, not in my face. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, you cold. Not in my face. Overhead. Overhead, Cockrow. That's where, yeah, overhead. Now we're going. Once again, please. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, you got to take that snow right out of my hair. You got to take that snow right out of the air. If it keeps on snowing, you better beware, or we'll all be in the soup. All right, no, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, a little too much snow there. We don't need quite so much snow. I don't know. Would you please uh, come on up here and, and get ready for your number? Move up the go. Here we go. What in the world are you doing with a hula skirt on? Well, here I am, an old Hawaii. I said, and I am just a hula skirt. Well, I am an old Hawaii. Well, that's up on the north or south pole. Oh, it's not Hawaii. It's not South Pacific. No, I said it was like South Pacific. <laughs> Joke sort of on me. Just a minute. I'll change in just a minute there. My goodness. Problem, problem, problem. Oh, boy. We got problems there. All right. Just a minute here. Just this a minute. I'll be up in just a minute. Where do you see the rest minute. of the script? Here, boy. Oh, boy. Let me Come get over here. You don't have... I want to insert... A maestro, please. Are you ready? On defrosted morning. Not quite so much snow here, boys. Oh, when you see the snowflakes. I think we had enough snow here. When you see... No flame. <laughs> I can hardly, I can hardly sing there so much snow. Oh, they fool around your door. A stubble you get. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and you work up a sweat. A sweat? And you start to stubble. What's a penguin? A penguin doing here? Well, Wendy, that is nothing like here. the snow. Yeah, where'd you come from? Snow is so much fun. What's a penguin doing? But no matter where you go, there is nothing like the snow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold everything. What is this? Well, for a good Cousin Crow. Well, nobody gave me a part, and I just was overcome with the music. Well, look, you're already here, so look, I tell you what, just join in the finale, all right? And we'll all do the finale together, all, all right. right now? Okay, here we go. We're as nutty as fruitcake at Christmas. We're always known as the cat's only wish. But we proceed with the greatest of speech. We're nutty, 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 <laughs> Do you know what was that last line you just gave, I don't know? I said, oh, nuts. I don't blame him. <laughs> well, that was sort of a mess, didn't it? Wendy did it again, didn't he, boys and girls? Didn't work, did it? But here's something that always works, and that's the magic laugh. Would you like to see the magic words with me? All right, then, here we go. Magic glass, so bright and tall. Now the message, tell us all. Come and get us a big surprise. And you have the surprise for me? Yes, sir. It's a new breakfast cereal called Maple. From now on, you're really going to like oatmeal. Take off your hat. The hat. I want my cowboy hat. After breakfast. I want it now. <laughs> Like maple sugar candy? <laughs> That's oatmeal. Right. But it says here it's maple flavored oatmeal. I want my hat. Tell you what, I'll be an aeroplane. You be the hanger. Open the door. Here it comes. <laughs> Loaded with delicious <laughs> maple flavored <laughs> maple. Mm. Cowboys love maple. Yep, cowboy. <laughs> Mm. I want my maple. Thank you, Magic Glass. You know, don't you love to have that message from the Magic Glass? I want my maple. And you'll want your maple, too, once you try it, boys and girls. That you can be sure of. Your Highness? Look who's back. Good morning again, Sir Donald. Good morning. I noticed, uh, Your Highness, I was walking through the garden, and I have developed a strange case of dandruff here. Uh, 
Oh, Somehow, it uh, Never mind, sir. Almost... It's too long to explain. Do you have some magic for us? Well, Your Highness, this morning I brought to court a number of metal hoops, Your Highness. Okay. I don't know. What are you doing back there? Well, uh, he's going to be my sorcerer's apprentice. Oh, You're right. I'm the, I'm the sewer's appendix today. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh, <laughs> now, Your Highness, this little bit of magic involves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings, Your Highness. Now, the object of the magic is this. I take one ring here, and one over here, give them a little shake, and one links within the other. Now, I don't know. No. Your job will be this. I want you to take the two rings okay. and link them and unlink them. In other words, take them apart. Take them apart. Okay. That's right. Well, now, nothing to that. In the meantime, Your Highness, I will take this ring here and this one and link these two together. Now we have three all together, Your Highness. Right. Would you like to examine the three rings, Your Highness, and I will come around in the front where you can actually see what happened, Your Highness. Now, you have three, and I have two separate rings. Uh -huh. Give them a tap, Your Highness. One goes within the other. And we'll spin around and off, Your Highness. How may do you I? Do that? Well, may I have your three for a moment, Your Highness? All right. If I take this one, Your Highness, give it a little twist, we now have a string of four, Your Highness. Now, by looping this over the top, this way, I can reach in the center here and make a little basket. This is a swinging basket. Well, we can close the basket up, Your Highness, in this manner, and have the opening of a row. Now, by taking this ring, Your Highness, and pulling it all the way down through to the bottom, we have a string of four and one on the arm, Your Highness, which we now take and hang on the bottom in one string, Your Highness. Now, by taking this one, we now have, Your Highness, all of the rings together. And now I don't know... Wonderful. Did you get the two rings apart? Well, no, no, not exactly, but I tried. There. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Well, no, I don't know. You don't understand. What's that? You shouldn't have pulled that hard. What? You see, to, to take the two rings apart, all you do is put the rings together, I don't know. Reach through the center, no. take it like this, and the rings will... Come apart, you see. No. I don't know, Your Highness. Say, uh, would you excuse me? I'm going to the magic chamber and try to straighten these out. I, I don't know. You don't know your own strength. Oh, I feel very. That's my beak. That's my well, beak. Wendy, it's time to say goodbye to the boys and girls. And you know, I do hope you'll be back with us bright and early tomorrow morning for another day at Princess Mary's castle. Wendy, would you like to say goodbye? Oh yes, I would, Princess Mary. Oh, oh for goodness' oh. sake! <laughs> you certainly are a mess. Yeah, I'm frostbitten. <laughs> you certainly are. Well, you okay. try, and it's better to. Trying to have failed and not to have tried at all, isn't it? No, right? I think if at first you don't, she, she'd quit. You're making a fool of yourself. I think That's you're right. Well, boys and girls, I hope to see you tomorrow morning bright and early. So until that time. I now declare royal court closed. Bye. Princess Mary.